I'm Sydney Neely and it's time for the shortcut coming up on tonight's show. Thanksgiving is right around the corner and the annual scam scramble to supermarkets for turkeys, cranberry sauce and pumpkin pie filling has been celebrated in late November for generations. Joining me on the shortcut is Richard Pickering, historian and deputy director of the Plymouth Potosic Museums in Plymouth, Massachusetts, to share with us the dramatic story about how the American holiday got started. Hi, Richard. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. So why is Plymouth, Massachusetts considered America's hometown? Well, I think when you open any American history book, you find Plymouth there at the beginning with the Mayflower Compact, the landing at Plymouth Rock, and then of course being the source of America's most beloved holiday, Thanksgiving. And why is Thanksgiving at Plymouth considered by some Americans the first Thanksgiving, even though we know there were already established Native American tribes celebrating Thanksgiving type rituals there? Well, you find that New Englanders in the 1600s and 1700s just started a practice of harvest home or family gatherings in the fall, that when they went westward, they took that tradition with them. And they were looking backward at Plymouth and the emotion of the holiday has only deepened. And speaking of that Thanksgiving table, how is the way we make turkey and pumpkin pie different than what was on the table for what some call the first Thanksgiving? Well, for the first Thanksgiving, there was no farm raised turkey. That was all hunted turkey. And the pumpkins were, were cooked in a different way because the English grains didn't do very well. So there was no pie crust. So imagine a bird that is smaller, probably not roasted because it required a lot of work to turn a spit. So I imagine it's a boiled turkey with seasonings and the pumpkin is slow seethed, butter folded in once it's soft and then nutmeg for a bit of flavor. So the same ingredients, but we use them differently and the turkey would not have been central at the table as it is for Americans today. I would urge every American to be in Plymouth for one Thanksgiving of their lives. Uh, the week here is just full of joy with a concert that honors our veterans, America's hometown Thanksgiving parade, and then wonderful places for Thanksgiving dinners. And to be able to board a reproduction of the Mayflower and be on the ship that brought the pilgrims in 1620, it's, it's a place like no other, a quaint New England town. Thank you so much, Richard, for joining us on The Shortcut. For more information about Plymouth, you can visit cplymouth.com. That's all the time that we have for tonight's show. I'm Sydney Neely, and I'll catch you next time on The Shortcut.